Well, hello everyone. It's a gorgeous fall afternoon up here in Woodstock, New York. And today I'm going to give you a little update on my system up here and show you the Indigo induction grow light that I have installed in my system. It's been going for a few months now. So I wanted to show you what's going on in the system. So come on, let's go check it out. So here it is, my aquaponic system in Woodstock, New York. Uh, let me tell you what's going on here. So I have a three bed system uh, here, sitting on top of a 100 gallon fish tank. If you want to see how I built this system, you can click on the link here to the link to the video series. And up here I have the Indigo 420 induction grow light. This is a 420 watt induction grow light. And it's kind of like a fluorescent light on steroids. It gives you a much better, uh, much better spectrum than you'd get with regular fluorescence. It's also going to last you a heck of a long time. Uh, I, I think this thing is going to last me 20 years. Uh, yeah, what? 20 years, that's crazy. Um, so what I have growing in the aquaponic system, uh, well, this looks kind of scary, doesn't it? This is, this is my lettuce, which has gone to seed and is doing quite well going to seed. Uh, there's lots of uh, seeds in here already ready to harvest. Um, I did eat a lot of lettuce that was in this already. Uh, but yeah, I went to seed. I uh, had other stuff to do in my life, uh, so I wasn't here as much as I wanted to be. Uh, so this went to seed, um, and, and I didn't get to harvest any more lettuce, but now I can get all the seeds and grow more lettuce. Um, in the center bed here, I have some rainbow char. Um, this has been in doing okay, but it, it's been suffering a little bit from the nutrients in the system. Um, that's because the first batch of fish, the fish that I got uh, all died. Uh, I bought 10, 10 uh, goldfish and they all died. And the next batch has been doing much better and I think that there was some kind of chemical thing going on. Um, this media that I have here, uh, the planted media, uh, it's clay balls. There were rumors that this stuff had some sulfur in it. Um, and that may have been the case. I don't know. Um, but it was, my pH was dropping uh, a lot. And so I was having some pH swings, and that's probably why the fish died. So I have a mixture of Sheboygan's and Fancy Goldfish in there right now. Um, let's take a look at them. So yeah, so I have uh, five Sheboygan's and three Fancy Goldfish. Those are the ones that have survived thus far. I've gotten about 20 fish, so I've had about 12 deaths. Um, so they really haven't got established until, you know, until the pH really balanced itself out. Now it's really nice and steady at about 6.6, .6, and uh, I'm not having to manage it anymore. Um, I've got shell grit down in there along with some eggshells and everything seems to be balanced out well. Um, but you can see the nutrient issues going on with the char. Um, a lot of uh, spotting on the leaves. I'm not sure what that is, so if you know what that is, uh, let me know. If you know what nutrient I'm missing, let me know. And in the back bed, I have some blue curled scotch kale. Um, so I also have some growing here in this vertical system and it's been doing really well. Um, 
the kale over there on the far end is not doing quite as well and that's because it's far away from the light. Uh, this light seems to have a limitation uh, in terms of right here at the end. I wouldn't grow anything past that end. Uh, it's really not going to get quite enough light uh, or get something that's going to do well in shade you can grow over there. But I've also tried aug augmenting uh, with these clip-ons with some just some fluorescent glow, glow lights and that seems to work okay. Um, but the light it does really well in this dimension. I would say you have about five feet, uh, five feet of growing area in terms of this cross dimension. Uh, so it's been doing really well. Um, so what else? Uh, I, I think uh, actually Indigro, the folks over at Indigro, uh, sent me some stuff. They sent me uh, a, sort of a care package, stuff they wanted me to try out. So they're doing a lot more than just grow lights over in the grow. Uh, they sent me some cocoa core, which uh, they want me uh, to try it out as a growing medium in some net pots. They want us, me to sink those net pots down into the, uh, into the clay media and have the water wick up through the cocoa core. They've also sent me uh, some aquaponic elements. This aquaponic elements you can actually put in their their individual bags. They're like they're like fabric bags and or sort of a fabric. And you can put them in a salt shaker and just shake it over your grow beds. It's a pretty cool uh, system in terms of uh, putting rock dust into your aquaponic system. So this is something they're, they're marketing and want people to check out. Uh, I did uh, add it to my grow beds and you know, the, for it being a very young system, the plants are doing remarkably well. Um, aside from a few nutrient issues, which I'm not sure of what they are. They also sent me this uh, EFC treatment and this is really to help your roots grow. Uh, you know, it's to establish roots for young, young plants. So what they suggested I do is actually take a five inch net pot, put some cocoa core on it, some aquaponic elements, and I'm actually gonna add some worm castings for my worm bin that I have going here. Um, which has been doing really well and I have a lot of worm castings now and so I'll add those and do what they suggest you know let's give it a try I want to try to get some tomato plants started in the system to try to see if uh, this induction grow light can really uh, grow some good tomatoes so that's what I'm going to do for the next uh, little while, so you should definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see how that works out. And uh, I think that's it for this time. Uh, Aquaponics NYC, signing out.